So this was a phase three trial called Affinity, testing Kyrcisen, which is an antisense anti-clusterine, on top of second line chemotherapy with cabazitaxel for patients with metastatic prostate cancer that have failed not only hormonal therapy, but also the staxel chemotherapy. Clusterine is a protein that is expressed every time you're arming a cell. So every time uh, a cell will receive, a prostate cancer cells will receive uh, uh, androgen receptor targeting or so hormonal therapy or chemotherapy, clusterine will be up to try to protect the cell against uh, apoptosis. So Kirstesen was really trying to, uh, to avoid the making of clusterine and uh, doing that to increase uh, the chance for a cell apoptosis. So unfortunately, this is a negative trial. Uh, Kirstesen didn't improve overall survival on top of chemotherapy. And this was really the first trial aiming to improve the results in the second line chemotherapy setting. So I, I guess the, the question is, uh, why is that negative? Because the preclinical data and the clinical data that we had before the trial were quite robust. So we didn't find any uh, good result that could, uh, that could have impaired the trial, uh, use of uh, third line treatments, uh, different use of chemotherapy, all these things were very well balanced, so that's not explanation. The two explanations that we see are A, potentially clustering is not a good enough target in this disease. Of course, it could well be. You never really know whether what you saw in the lab is true in humans. And the second a potential explanation is that Kirstesen, the drug we've been using, does not lower clustering level, which is the protein uh, against apoptosis, uh, at, at a significant uh, level that can be associated with overall survival. So there is now another trial testing uh, Kirstesen in another cancer, lung cancer, and we'll have the data probably by the end of the year.